everyone welcome back to ws cube in our previous session we talk about the iteration in the list in today's session we will be discussing about some list function so we have many list functions which has a vast application in python we will be discussing all of them one by one before that if you want to become a successful data analyst and if you want to learn from our experts live then you can call on the given number or you can fill the form that is provided in our description not just at with our every batch you will be getting two demo classes for free so let's get started so guys in this session we will be discussing about six list functions first is length second is count third is append fourth is insert fifth is remove and sixth is pop we will be discussing each of them with the help of an example so i'm considering a list over here that a is equals to inside the square bracket i'll be writing 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 comma 50 so i'm adding five items to it our first method says to find the length of the list to find the length of the list just like how we have done it in the strings we will be doing the same thing over here we will be writing print len of a so if i run this program i get that there are five elements inside this list so this is the length method talking about the count method count method allows us to count the number of times any element is occurring inside the list so let's say i am increasing the occurrence of any element let's say i am writing 10 again and uh, 20 and again i am writing 10 okay now what count method will do count method will check how many times uh, number 10 is occurring inside the list so all we need to do is write print a that is the name of our list dot count or we need to count how many times number 10 is occurring inside the list as soon as we run it it tells us that the three times it's occurring similarly if you want to check it for uh, any other number let's say if i want to check it for 50 all you need to do is write print a dot count let's say 50 so as soon as i run it it gives me one over here right nextly we are talking about the append method so guys append method over here allows us to make changes to the list so in our first session with list i told you that lists are mutable mutable means once a list is created it can be changed now changing here does not mean that i go to the list and directly added it we can use a inbuilt function of the list to add more items to it how it can be done let's have a look so let's say i want to add an element to it all i need to do is i'll write a dot append append means to add and whatever i want to add let's say i want to add 60 inside this list so a dot append 60 and if i print a now and run the program you will see that to our list 60 has been added but there is one thing with this append method that whatever element we will be appending it will directly go towards the end of the list what if if we want to insert something if we want to add something in the middle of the list or in the starting of the list for that we have our insert method over here will allow us to add any element at any particular position that we want to add it to so all we need to do is write a dot insert now where i want to add i want to add it on position let's say i want to add it between 10 and 20 so i will be adding it at position number 1 comma what i will be adding let's say i want to add 100 number over here and after this i'll be printing my a and as soon as i run it you will see that on number 1 that means on number 1 position we have 100 so this is how with the help of insert method you can insert any element inside the list at any particular position you want to insert it at with the append method we can add an element towards the end of the list with the insert method we can add it wherever we want to add it inside the list now let's talk about the remove method over here Now remove method is used as the word itself says remove remove method here helps us to remove an element from the list let's see how it can be done so we had 100 over here where 100 does not makes any sense so i'll be removing 100 from here all i need to do is write a dot remove and i want to remove 100 so if i print a over here let's run and see what happens you will now see that the new list that we have obtained from this list the 100 has been removed right what if i want to remove an element at from a particular position let's say i don't i don't know ki which element is at which position or all i know is ki whatever is position number 2 i want to remove whatever element is there at the position number 2 for that we have a pop method pop method allows us to remove an element with the help of a index number so how to use a pop method is very simple all we need to do is write a dot pop and inside the brackets we can add whichever index number we want to remove 
let's say whatever element is there on index number 2, I want to remove it. And if I print the list after this and run the program, so now you will see on number 2 index we had 30 and from and in the new list that we have obtained over here, the 30 has been removed. This is how pop method is used. The difference between the remove method and the pop method over here is remove removes the particular value that you are uh, telling the list that okay, I want to remove the value and you have to provide it with the value that which value you want to remove. While pop method allow us to remove it from an index number. You can use an index number, give a value of an index number and you can remove whatever element is there on that particular index. So guys, these were our six list functions. In the next session also, we will be discussing about six more list functions. So I hope you guys have no doubts and no questions in the part one of our list functions. Now in our next session, we will be discussing about more functions. So stay connected and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.